Hello YouTube, ladies and gents. Today we are here at Columbus, Ohio checking out Tulip Cafe. Tulip Cafe, you guys may remember from a video that I did. I, I think that video was in Turkish, but I met them in a farmer's market. Now they have a cafe here. So I drove 250 miles to see what they're all about, to check out all the goodnesses they offer. A Turkish proverb says, a hungry bear won't dance. I cannot dance right now unless I eat. So let's go ahead and check out Tulip Cafe together. Are you searching for food to nourish both your body and soul together? Then Tulip Cafe is the right choice for you. The owners are two sweet, strong and smart Turkish American ladies who cook and bake with expertise and kindness. The food they make and serve at Tulip Cafe absolutely outranks food in chain restaurants in numerous ways. Here when you eat, you know that your food is not coming from the hands of a stranger. At Tulip Cafe, I'm not exaggerating, your food comes with a character that you will savor with joy each time. You will know whose capable hands chopped, kneaded, molded and cooked your plate. Beyond the food, what you will definitely taste here is the dedication and compassion offered in the purest form of hospitality. Tulip Cafe is the place in Columbus, Ohio where your palate will re relearn what you have known so far about cafe style dining. Tulip Cafe's best seller is the layered cheese burek, subaray, a tangy yet comforting casserole that's easy to love but hard to make. The sublime labor-intensive construction enriched with ricotta, feta, and sour cream involves boiling, shock chilling, resting, and stacking 10 layers of noodles later in case in a house-made filo. Okay guys, today we are here at Tulip Cafe. We ordered our goodnesses and I just met uh, Nevzat here. Nevzat is from Turkey, Antalya, Turkey. Yeah. We just met and I happen to like him and he's a good friend of mine now. We're bros. <laughs> so we're gonna check out. I, I invited Nevza to see what it's all about. Check out the Tulip Cafe because I'm not Turkish as you guys know. He's Turkish, he knows the taste and everything. He can tell him, he can compare it with the Turkish food that he has eaten at home. I ate a lot of Turkey, but you know, nothing is better than being native. So. He is native, so we're gonna check out with him. Thank you, Nauza, for coming. Thank uh -huh. you for the thank accepting. You, yeah, we yeah. just met. <laughs> uh, we just met, but it's so well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pass the microphone to Nauza. Oh, yeah. It's, it is morning now, and we're going to have breakfast, mm -hmm. kind of, like brunch. And uh, yeah. So we are having brunch at Tulip Cafe, Dublin, Ohio. So. Go ahead, Nevzat, you start. I wanna... Actually, I'm not morning person, okay. but I'm Have going... Have Yeah, I'm going to try lahmacun and small bite. Is this how the Turkish people eat lahmacun, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you how... Uh, yeah. How a you foreigner eats lahmacun. Yeah. Just kidding. Nevzat actually just ate, yeah. so... Yeah, okay, this I'm one. gonna show you how to eat. No, you have to. I know, I have, you have to put greens yeah, too, yeah. You have. I'm, I'm gonna put some. I was a meat person. Oh, okay. So now I have to eat. I didn't roll it up well, but look at this. It just full. I can put some lemon too. Yeah. People put lemon, but I don't like lemon on my lahmacun. But you definitely wanna try that. I would say hallelujah, bro. <laughs> lahmacun, nothing beats lahmacun, bro. Mmm. I hope that my cardiologist doesn't see this. So, now I'm gonna taste my favorite, my favorite thing in here. What is it? it is, is that ichli köfte? Yeah, it is ichli köfte. So you explain what ichli köfte is. Uh, 
it's like when you open it, they will see that. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Holy moly, guacamole. Yeah, beans and stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I should put the music. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Out of this, from out of this world, straight from the heaven, fell down to the earth. Yeah. Mm. So good. Yeah, we're in a diet. So now. You wash your mouth with Turkish tea. Oh, I'm in heaven right now. Heavenly delicious. I'm in diet. I I have to go for a workout for almost one hour after this. I guess I'll do that. No worries. You should continue with that one. I guess. Okay. Guys, like, at this. Okay. Last calories? I'm joking. Which one? This one. Oh, this is the diet thing. It's yeah, calorie, diet thing. calorie free. Look at this. Uh huh. Look at this. Look at the juices. It's so nice. Like Turkish it's, people eat in the those morning. Those are those are not butter. Just. <laughs> I love this one. It worked a million times driving 250 miles to come here. It's no joke, guys. I'm not doing promoting any place that I don't like. That's my thing. When I when you drive somewhere 250 miles, it means you really like it. And it works. Especially this Subaru. It's called Subaru. It means water, pastry, something. But because of the thing, the layers of, let me see, buttery, doughy thing, and also like cheese inside. Three kind of cheese. Three different kind of uh -huh. cheese. So I'm not gonna eat this. I ate once, so that was because I, I cannot eat butter. So next thing is, of course, the owner's it's, favorite. Spinach. The cameraman's favorite. Spinach flake, spinach bites. Gülbere. It's called in Turkish Gülbere. Yeah. Uh, Spanak the Gülbere. If I die today, I'm a dying sky bro. How did you die today, man? Hmm? Not today. Not today, hopefully. 100% diet. Fat free, gluten free. Everything is free. <laughs> it's all homemade. Yeah, oh, it's all homemade. So, so I'm gonna get Nevzah soup because Nevzah's. What Nevzad was eating before me, he ate the manta, which is dumpling, Turkish dumpling. I'll show you somewhere in there. The video is coming. Yeah, over there, but I, I have the, the, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. And Nevzad's fair opinion about this taste and overall the taste. Actually, I didn't eat manta. I ate a lot of things. Oh, okay. Sorry. I ate Iskander, manta, and sarma. And I, Iskander? yeah, Whoa. I love them. And it's like, if you're here and if you are like complaining about the food, you should definitely visit here because like, it's like, if you give money, it has to be worth and it's worth here. So you should definitely come. And it says the native. Yeah. So I'm going to close this with you guys right now because we're going to eat a lot. I'm not going to eat it. So, we're gonna keep eating this goodness. I would like to thank ne Nevzat. Why I call him, I'll call him Nejat? I don't know why. But Nevzat for participating in this video. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put his uh, YouTube channel description below so you can check him out. He's putting stories. I haven't checked his channel. We just met, literally just met like maybe 30 minutes ago. So, uh, this is it for this week. 
see you next week. Until then, God bless. Take care. Love you. Bye.